Everybody got it? Praise God. It says, verse 9, resist him what? Steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. So everybody goes through it, no matter what. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you what? After you what? After you suffered a while. <laughs> after you what? Praise God. Everybody loves to suffer a while, right? <laughs> I got one hand. Praise God. After you have suffered a while, perfect establish strengthen and what settle you what's he trying to get to you a seal of approval see i already got it see but the devil comes up with anxiousness yo you need to fix this right away it's called fear the bible says god's not giving us a spirit of fear but power love and sound mind see when the devil begins to see god trying to seal you with his approval in certain areas the devil will come and try to mislead you cause you to fear cause you to compromise and cause you to approve things that are not of god and either if you have a seal and you do those that seal will be removed has everybody got it you're either getting a seal or losing a seal has everybody got it or you're maintaining a seal Hallelujah. I wouldn't want to leave that one out. <laughs> so he's looking for us to get stable, settle, so that we're not easily moved. That's how you get seals. He knows no matter what. He knows those that he has sealed. He has tried them. He's done everything. He knows that that person is not going to move in that circumstance, no matter what it is. How about Job? Was he sealed? Well, what makes us different than Job? Nothing. Hello. Job got tried, didn't he? He got tested. Man, did he get tested. But see, God had his seal of approval on him, and then he used him to attack Satan. See, Job actually attacked Satan. How did he attack him? He attacked him by staying upright. He didn't get moved. Wouldn't you want God to say, listen, have you considered my servant, Rosemary, Dean, Katie, whoever? Believe me, when you have been sealed by God's approval, with the seal of approval, he's going to use you to get to Satan and allow you to be tempted, allow certain things to happen in your life so that he knows that you will not move because Satan hates it when a believer can't be moved. He hates it. That's how you get to him. He runs away with his tail between his legs. Hallelujah. Go to 2 Timothy chapter 2. Verse 14. Second Timothy chapter 2. So that's why when God gives you things again, you be disciplined. Discipline will produce obedience, right? Obedience will produce authority. Has everybody got it? Authority will produce what? Dominion. Dominion will produce victory. Victory will produce freedom. And the freedom will bring the seal. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14, re read it with me. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit, to the ruin of the hearers. Be what? Diligent to present yourself, what? Approved to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and idle babblings, 
for they will increase to more ungodliness. Does everybody see that? Hallelujah. So what's he saying? Listen, I want you. He, he, he's telling us about being approved to God by rightly dividing his word, by understanding his word. Because there are many people out there that are preaching the word and don't have understanding. Does everybody get it? Anybody ever preached something and you said, man, what is that? I mean, it didn't even make sense. It wasn't even there what was being preached. There wasn't the right understanding there. Remember, without the Holy Ghost, you won't understand what this word is saying. Because he's the author. Amen? Let's go a little further. Hallelujah. What we have? Oh, and verse 17. And their message will spread like cancer. Simeus and Phileas are of this sort. We have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands, having what? Having what? This seal, it is a seal of approval. The Lord knows those who are his. Why? Because you've been sealed with the approval. Because you've been tried and you've been tested. Let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful loss, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a, what? A pure heart. But avoid foolish and arrogant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility, correcting those who are in opposition of God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive to do the devil's will. Does everybody see this? So you and I are approved to God knowing the word of truth. We have been sealed, sealed. It is the seal of approval to even preach the gospel of Christ. Does everybody got it? There's an area, he said, not many of you be teachers because the judgment is worse. Hello. But God is raising up teachers. Everybody in this room is called to be a teacher. If you're in this ministry, you are called to be a teacher. Why? God is going to place his seal of approval upon you in every area. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit knows all things and will guide you to all things. If you're in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Everybody got it. Man, I remember one time um, I was with this prayer group and uh, there, there was a sign on this, at, at this building that said, learn the book of Revelation. And I was a baby in Christ. I'm thinking, man, I want to go there. So I went there and everything they taught was totally incorrect. And I was a baby in Christ and knew in my spirit because the Holy Spirit was teaching me while they were te or they were trying to teach it. And I would raise my hand and ask a question. And they would look at me. And after two or three times, they ignored me. So after the class, I would, I would I was sitting there talking with someone. We started going over what they were teaching. And I, I mean, it was totally wrong. And I'm thinking, man, you know, I don't know the book of Revelation I didn't know it then real good. And I'm thinking, but I know what they're teaching is wrong. This is incredible. This is not right. Because it was, uh, uh, they were exalting angels in certain things. And I'm not going to go into the type of denomination it was. But they lure many people into their denomination by telling them that they know the book of Revelation. 